memories. I don't know what you're looking for, but cards on the table. You don't get more unreliable narrator than me. <laughs> it's my thing. And the collateral damage. <laughs> oh, but don't worry about that. Ah, I remember you invading like it was yesterday. Heroes and villains working together. Imagine me being one of humanity's last defenders. <laughs> what a gas! Oh, that's right. You uh, don't have a sense of humor. If only the others had listened! I had big plans for us going out with a bang! But you know what they say about good intentions. You can't kill them all! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's when we first met. Oh, we could have been pals, shared torture tips. But you, you ruined my earth. That's my modus operandi. And I hate being upstaged. So if you thought you could keep this very active pathological imagination in a jar, think again. Then... I discovered you'd been giving my Earth a makeover. What's a place like this doing in a guy like me? Well, I'll pick your brain about it sometime. Ice pick! <laughs> No, absolutely not. Looks like Brainiac's collecting trophies, because he's still got the Joker from that Earth in stasis. I can already feel the train wreck. You'll breach the defenses of this new world, take down the Brainiac iterations, and recruit Joker as an asset. You Jokers are bad enough, but THE Joker? This isn't a debate. Consider yourselves briefed and get to work. Yes, Director Amanda Waller. Right away, Director Amanda Waller. Force X. You'll find I guard my anomaly collection quite jealously. Including this world's Joker. Let's say his evil shall not escape my sight. Ah, just get him to hit each other. 
I'm picturing your defeat, Task Force X. And where there's a will, there's a way. I think it's time to take this to the next level. Why limit my imagination to your capacity? Construct shit! Another one down! You cower from me, but embrace this Joker. I want to build your world. You will destroy it. Buy me dinner first. <laughs> tell you wait we don't shoot these guys here oh okay that's on me oh christ mandy baby is that you oh i'm so glad you're alive shut I... it it was a gamble adding you to this task force x and i'm sick of your bullshit already <laughs> so i guess you'll fit right in Keep him in line. Put it in me. Oh, mate, bloody hell! Now you've just made it weird. <sighs> Hal? Hell no! Been there, done that, got the scars, did some healing. I'm not into that type anymore. Maladaptive narcissist? Comedians. Come on, dead shot! Ah, uh, Sharko, you want to have a go this time? Uh, my hands are too large. We sure about this, Director? <laughs> oh, this brings back memories of my old Suicide Squad. Ah, here we go. They're all dead? <sighs> what a tragedy. What a heartbreaker. The sprays of blood, the smell of singed hair, the viscera. Oh, the viscera. I'd definitely do it differently this time around. Cleaner. Well, congratulations, Task Force X. It took you all of 20 seconds to lose control of them. Hey, hey, hey! Don't misunderstand me here. <sighs> I killed my team because I truly cared about them. And even though I've only just gotten to know you guys, I care about you that much, too. Colonel Flagg, lock him up. For the record, I hate this. Oh, is it too much? Making new friends after a move is always tough. Oh, this is much more accommodating than other cells I've been in. Is that real cinder block? Five stars. Every dark corner! Welcome to the real Batman 
experience. I'm Jack Ryder, author, presenter, investigative journalist, curator of the exhibit. I know all there is to know about Batman's greatest feats. This is not a traumatization. What you're about to experience is based on... We I begin at the Arkham Asylum for the Criminally Insane. The Batman had apprehended Joker like so many times before, but this night, this night was different. The maniac had prepared a trap in the midst of Batman's deadliest foes. Can you smell the excitement in the air? Ha <laughs> ha! No? Must have been one of the guards then! Croc, old boy! Is that you? I got your scent, Batman. I will hunt you down. Joker spraying nearly every killer in Arkham. <laughs> Don't like to think about it, but uh, at least I made it out. <laughs> As a last resort, Joker used his own experimental Titan mixture. The super serum warped his body to match his twisted mind. But it wasn't enough to defeat Batman. Harley Quinn. Once a promising young psychiatrist, she returned to the asylum to terrorize it as Joker's sidekick. And if she was just the sidekick, your Joker's getup must have been skimpy. Me? I don't lace my corset that tight. Need room to laugh. The strong man Bane was secretly imprisoned and experimented on in Arkham's depths to create a powerful new strength serum, Titan. Serial killer Victor Zaz was let loose on the island, claiming several more lives that night marked indelibly on his skin. Following the fall of the asylum, Gotham's skid rows were turned into the super prison, Arkham City. An urban hell, where the only rules were made by the villain ringleaders and their gangs. I know, I was on the ground, and so was Batman. The only way to get by in this place is to get ourselves some respect! Fear! That's how we get respect! Show them all how we do things! Ah, you know, if you, if you pick the right side and then piss off the boss, <laughs> you were set. At least, uh, until the bad showed up anyway. Bring out the defendant! You certainly know how to keep a girl hanging, Harv. Court is in session. Grab him and cut him in two! Batman cleaned out Arkham City. Two-Face, Penguin, Ra's al Ghul, even the Joker. Batman's nemesis died poisoned by his own chemical compound. A tragic irony. <laughs> Just to be clear, they turned Gotham's low-income neighborhoods into a privately owned prison state. And it didn't work. <sighs> well, there goes my pitch for mayor. Batman and Joker's rivalry finally ended in Arkham City. I don't doubt Batman would have saved the maniac if he could, but the Titan poison ensured this was Joker's last laugh. Wow. This is very existential for me. I always wondered what I'd look like dead. Answer? Waxy. My Batman never held me like that. Maybe I went overboard on the chloroform? Uh 
Basil Carlo, Clayface, worked for Joker, impersonating the criminal mastermind who hid behind the scenes. Quite the performance. And his last. Solomon Grundy wasn't just a nursery rhyme. Penguin discovered this legendary monster under the Iceberg Lounge and put him to use as rancid, undead muscle. Professor Hugo Strange was the madman pulling the strings behind Arkham City. Intending to destroy the prison and its inhabitants, he instead died within its walls. Raish al Ghul, head of the League of Assassins, was obsessed with making Batman his successor. But al Ghul underestimated Batman, and it would be his downfall. Professional killer Deadshot was hired to assassinate several VIP targets, like myself, and Bruce Wayne and Batman. Close calls with death that night. I love this take on Deadshot. Very problematic. Talia Al Ghul, once second in command of the League of Assassins. Sadly, the spark between her and Batman was extinguished at Joker's last stand, along with her life. Victor Freeze, this brilliant but cold scientist, would do anything to protect his wife Nora, whether that meant opposing or aiding Batman. Jarvis Tetch, the Mad Hatter, a real head case. A hypnotist fixated on fantasies. The only thing he sought more than his Alice was to control Batman. The city's darkest hour was yet to come. Gathering Batman's remaining foes into an unholy alliance, the crazed Scarecrow plunged Gotham into a waking nightmare. Welcome to Gotham, the city of fear. You thought me gone, didn't you, Batman? Lost in the waters beneath Arkham. But like all submerged forgotten fears, eventually I returned. My fire crew was trapped. But we owe Batman our lives. He just kept pushing himself past the limit. Batman turned back the tide of fear, reclaimed the city. But at what cost? In defeating Scarecrow, his identity was revealed to the world. They're tasteless. Whereas here, it's for kids. <laughs> the pyromaniac Garfield Lenz thought he could indulge in the chaos, striking not just Gotham's buildings, but the fire departments protecting them. Who was the Arkham Knight? The mysterious figure seemed to aid Scarecrow, but vanished after his defeat. I believe his methods were very similar to the vigilante, Red Hood. Huh. Don't know this guy, but he's got a real face for crowbars.
Slade Wilson, the super soldier known as Deathstroke, came to Gotham that night leading a whole militia, but his vendetta was with one man, Batman. Bruce Wayne's apparent death sent shockwaves through Gotham City. It seemed unbelievable. Impossible. Batman's legacy would live on in many ways, including persistent underworld rumors of an even more fearsome vigilante. The Demon Bat. Terror of Gotham's criminals. But let me ask you, would the events you've witnessed not drive any man to a place of darkness? See, what I like is, he could have called himself Money Man, but he went with Bat. And that's a choice. As always, Edward Nigma forced Batman to participate in his riddles, even capturing Batman's sometime ally Catwoman as incentive. Laszlo Valentine is one sick individual. A freakish surgeon whose idea of making his patients better was changing them into featureless dolls. Several years after faking his death, Bruce Wayne finally returned, drawn back to the light by the metahuman superheroes from Metropolis. They asked Batman to join the Justice League. He accepted. And so, the story of Bruce Wayne, the Batman, continues, far from the mean streets of the city that made him. I'm Jack Ryder. Thanks for taking this journey with me. Wow, they're just like us. I'd blow them right up if I could. <laughs> Wait, that's it? No more backstory? No more jingles? Tell me there's a gift shop. I want a pressed penny. <laughs> 